Hey everybody, it's Safi and Marco Dish Out on Movies, the only movie review show on YouTube to review movies in terms of food. And it's just Marco here once again to talk about meeting Kane Hodder and meeting the Nadia from American Pie. Once I, I forgot to look up her name. Shit, just, just one second. Okay, okay, I'm back. Meeting Shannon Elizabeth. That's the that's the name. Uh, sorry about that. It's a little. <laughs> so in... <laughs> so anyways, this is sort of finishing up my experiences at Days of the Dead Chicago 2016. This is probably my favorite convention that I've been to. Uh, but let's start off with the bad news. So, as I said in the previous video, meeting Chris Sarandon, I did not get to meet Tony Todd and get the Candyman photo op, which I paid for, because I could not find the place to get to the photo ops. I asked everybody, every, everyone, my uh, Safi asked everyone, you know, we all asked everyone, and we, it was a disaster with that. We searched around for an hour. And so I said... You know, can I just, can, can I meet one last, let's, let's just, it, it's late, we were supposed to get back pretty soon, but let's go back into the convention and meet one last person, just to, you know, try to get something else good out of today, because it was the same day that I met uh, Chris Sarandon, which was terrible, so anyways, uh, <laughs> We went to we we went around. You know, I I should have I should have met with more people. You know, they had, man, they had a great guest list. They had Christy Swanson, one of my birthday partners. They had uh, Caroline Williams. They had the guy from Nightmare on Elm Street too. They had uh, all the Jasons. Like it, it it was insane. And, and so we went to Kane Hodder's line, which was very long. And there was actually two people in front of us who said that they've met him before. And that he's just great. You know, he takes a lot of time with every individual person. And, uh, you know, being really nice and everything. And, and so we got excited. I got hyped up. I was like, you know, because here, here's a little thing about me. <laughs> I've never really been a fan of the Friday the 13th series. I grew up seeing Jason all the time. And then I finally saw the first one, which I hated. I hated that the first time I saw it because uh, I've been so used to seeing Jason. I was like, where's Jason? Uh, but then, you know, I really loved part two and three as a teenager. You know, I would watch those all the time parts two and three, and then part four sometimes, and then the rest of them I never really watched, but I saw them like once, and I never really liked them that much as a teenager, but I did love Kane Hodder as Jason, and I had, I had heard how nice of a person he was and all that crap, and so I thought, you know, what the hell, and so we were in line, and I even saw Tony Todd coming back up from his Candyman photo op, the one that I missed, and I saw him coming back up and going back to his booth, and I just, it, it was such a sad moment, <laughs> like, oh, so close to getting that picture that we spent money on, but anyways, then we got, we finally got to Kane Hodder, and basically we got this deal where we bought an autograph, or I should say, I bought an autograph from him, and then I got two free selfies, I think, with him, and I think it, I can't remember how much it was, it doesn't even matter, uh, at all, because it was an A-plus experience, spoiler alert, and so he basically, I, I introduced myself, I talked to him a little bit, and, he, and out of the blue, he yells, he yells my name, Marco, and then I look, <laughs> I look around, and parts two and three, and parts two and six Jasons are yelling polo. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, is Jasons 
like the actual Jasons from Friday the 13th they're playing <laughs> that was a surreal moment that was very weird <laughs> that was so cool and and I'll never forget that and then uh you know I shook hands with him and everything I got his autograph from a nice little Jason takes Manhattan picture and you know that one is in a binder somewhere and I and so I won't be able to show that one but I will be able to show my pics with him and Shannon Elizabeth and so then I of course took a picture and I got strangled by him which you know what I didn't mind it I thought it was fine I thought it was fun <laughs> I never expected to get strangled at a convention before, and certainly not by one of the guests there, but you know what? It was cool. It, it, it's such a cool picture. Definitely one of my top five experiences with a celebrity at a convention. So yeah, again, I would give it an A+. He was so nice, so cool. Safi liked him. You know, it was just a fantastic experience, and it really made up for, you know, meeting uh, Jerry Dandridge uh, in real life. It was like, okay, welcome to Fright Night, for real, not in a good way. Uh, so then, let's talk about my Shannon Elizabeth experience, which I'm just lumping that in because it's a small experience. It's not really much to note other than, like, what happened with the whole photo op finding it thing um uh, the next day i think um yeah the next day we were looking around again and this time i noticed i looked over i just happened to look over in the lobby area kind of and it was just crowds of people but then i looked there was like a pathway it wasn't really a paved pathway with like tape marking it but it was a pathway that was that was empty back to the staircase. And there was like a little sign there at the staircase door. And so me and Safi followed it. And of course Safi actually was trying to get me to go away from it. Because she said that it was probably not there. And you know we shouldn't be going back there. And so you know it was very confusing whether you know what was going on. And then we... So we saw, I think it said photo ops downstairs, and so I opened the door, we went, we went down these red stairs, and I got in line for my photo op with Shannon Elizabeth, and uh, so basically I met her, and yeah, it was pretty nice, uh, <laughs> there's not really much to say, you know, uh, it's a, it was a photo op, you know, it's probably... In terms of professional photo ops, it probably was the least best one, just because, like, no, wait, no, it was better than Christopher Lloyd, but it, it just, you know, there's nothing you can really tell from that experience of uh, meeting Shannon Elizabeth, you know, I didn't realize that they actually had selfie prices at their tables, because with, with Days of the Dead, you know, they got the... I, I I don't think that they showed that at that time. I think that they just had the photo op prices on the website and did not show that they could take selfies. So yeah, if I had known that, I would have met her for real at her table and I would have taken a selfie with her. I would not have, uh, you know, done the professional photo op thing because it's really not a great way to meet a celebrity it's really better to, to meet them at their table. Although, I think the picture's really nice. So I give meeting Shannon Elizabeth a C+. Plus. It was very average, but you know what? The picture's really nice. And, uh, you know, there's nothing negative to say about it, like with others. <laughs> Jerry Dandridge. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. Anyways, anyways, anyways. But, um... <laughs> Uh, that's it for my Days of the Dead Chicago 2016 celebrity meetup videos. I'll be coming back with uh, meeting other celebrities at other conventions, including Brie Larson, C. Thomas Howell, Daniel Harris, my childhood crush, and uh, you know lots more. So goodbye. Oh wait, God damn. This video is a fuck up in more ways than one. Please like this video, 
subscribe to our channel, and comment. Tell me about an experience, a time when you met Kane Hodder, or any other celebrity you'd like to talk about. So goodbye, everybody. See you soon.